cigars, there are definitely a few points of etiquette that I would keep in mind. And that really starts with cutting the cigar. Sometimes in the store, I'll see people lick the whole cigar or the end of the cigar, and then wanna use our store cutter to cut the cigar. Please don't do that. These cigars are all properly humidified. They do not need to be wet before they're cut. And it's just not sanitary. So if you're gonna do that, make sure it's your own personal cutter. But even then, you're probably gonna cut cigars for a friend at some point. So just avoid that. You can per absolutely get a great cut without wetting the end of the cigar first. Um, then the next thing that comes up is smoking with the label on or off. And it's definitely a personal preference. Some people think it's a little ostentatious to show off what it is that you're smoking. I would definitely encourage you to at least smoke a little bit of the cigar before you remove the band because they actually use the same vegetable paste that they use to roll the cigar when they put the label on. And so if you try to take that off when the cigar is still cold, you have a tendency to rip the actual wrapper leaf of the cigar. But if you let some heat come into the cigar, that loosens that paste, makes it easier to remove the label. And then as you're smoking, it's not a cigarette. You don't need to keep ashing it in the ashtray. You can actually let this ash build. As the ash builds, it actually makes the cigar a little cooler to smoke. Uh, of course, you don't wanna let it go so far that you end up with ash all over yourself. So there's a point at some point where you would just gently knock that into the ashtray. And then when you're finished smoking, you just leave it in the ashtray and let it go out on its own. No stubbing it out, nothing like that. Just leave it in the ashtray and it'll go out all by itself.